Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the H96 Max Android box. Now it is a long time since I've reviewed one of these like generic Chinese boxes. It does have 8GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. But is it worth buying? Now a little disclaimer, I released this video on my other channel first, but then I've decided to start doing device reviews on this channel again, so I am re-uploading it to here. But let me tell you one thing, spoiler alert, this were an absolute disaster. <laughs> right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. First of all, I want to thank Banggood for sending this product out to review, and if you are interested in looking at it, I will leave links in the description down below. Right, so if I take a quick look in the box, we get the HDMI cable, instruction manual, you don't need that because you follow me, you know. <laughs> and then we obviously get the Android box, and then we get the remote. Now, when looking at the box, it does look like quite a nice little design, but it is just plastic, that's all it is. But it doesn't look too bad. On the top, we've just got the H96 logo, 8K Ultra HD once again. It's got to be bollocks, that, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> On the front of the box, we've got like a, a blue a blue strip. And when I plugged it in, it just showed me the time and there was a bit of blue lighting coming out of the sides. On both the left and right hand side of the box, we've got ventilation. And on the back of the box, we get the reset button, the power port, optical, gigabit ethernet, HDMI, USB 3.0, and a USB 2.0 port as well. When looking at the remote, it is a bit different. It has got the air mouse button on it, which is nice to see. But it's not like these generic Chinese boxes that we see that's got dog shit remotes. This one doesn't actually look that bad. But let's get it started up, see how it works, see how it looks, see how it performs. Is it dog shit and is it a waste of money? And I'm going to jump in early and say, possibly going to be dog shit, so I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I did forget to mention, is when I was showing the unboxing, there were no plug. So when I came to plug it in, I thought, have I opened this box previously? Have I taken the plug out? I can't find it. I've looked in my wire drawer. I did find a plug that fit, but it didn't power it up. And then I just found this USB cable with the correct fitting, and that seems to work. But I thought I'd let you know that I don't know if it came with a plug or not. It could be my fault. I don't know. But now you know. <laughs> so I've just plugged it in, put some batteries in the remote. I can't navigate. I can't. I can't move. There is a light coming on on the remote, as you can see, but I don't think it's paired up. So basically, they're selling a box, and the remote's not even ready to use, so you're going to need something else to pair the remote up. This could be me being daft, but it's not working. So I've just plugged in my Wii Chip USB remote. Totally different, something probably none of you are going to own if you buy this box. But I'm just going to set it up and just see how it is. I've already... I'm going to say it's dog shit. Right, so once we complete that setup, it looks like all the other H96 boxes, but I still can't navigate with the remote that it actually came with. But I can navigate with a USB remote, so I'm just going to quickly go into settings. No network, I've connected twice. Hot pot, what's that? It's hot spot in it. <laughs> that could be me being daft, but... That says hot pot, and I'm sure it's meant to say hot spot. <laughs> Tell her. Anyway, I've just pulled myself over here. The USB remote, the back button doesn't work, so I'd have to remap that. So I'm going to have to click the home button. This is a right ball ache, this. I'm going to go down to remotes and accessories. And it's searching, so I'm going to click the OK button and the volume down like it says in the manual, and then it does find it. So I'm going to click OK. So we've got the air mouse, as you can see, when I'm going around like that. But that's absolutely shocking that they've sent a remote that doesn't work out of the box. So somebody that's buying an Android box for the first time, what are you meant to use to pair this remote up? I could be missing a trick, I don't know, but the only thing that's done me in the whole of this video, that says hot pot. I'm sure it's... <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what you think. So, I already know what I think about this box, but I'll quickly just go through it and you can see how it performs. So, if I just go to YouTube first of all, this 8K Ultra HD box that you connect to the internet via hot pots and you get a remote that isn't paired out of the box. 
So I'm quickly just going to click on a 4K video, see how it plays. I'm going to skip the ad, obviously. So as you can see, obviously let it catch up and then the picture should repair itself. As you can, it's a really nice picture and it's playing smooth. If I go up to more, we can see it is playing in 4K and that is playing pretty well. So if we have a quick look at what's pre-installed on here, as you can see we've got some mirroring apps, we've got Netflix, Obviously, this is the mobile version, so any official apps that you do use, so Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, all of those will be in low quality, probably 480p. You're basically using a mobile version of the app on these devices, but that doesn't apply to your third-party apps. They'll work absolutely fine. If I take a quick look at the storage, you can see the memory. So the RAM is 8GB, and internal storage is 64GB, and... No way. So, you can connect to the internet via a hotspot or hot pot and the device memory. That says, de that's meant to say device memory and it says device memory. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what to say. This is absolutely dog shit. I don't know if I want to continue actually reviewing it. I don't know if there's any point. If on the home screen, there's a cleaner in the top right hand corner you can see it releases RAM, so it might be for stopping apps in the background. You've got the Google Play Store. I'm not going to bother signing in because I can't be asked. but it's the full Google Play Store that you get on an Android phone. Now the remote's paired up. The remote's not actually that bad. It's, it's quite nice. But I'm just going to try one more thing, and if this works, then I'll carry on reviewing it. If not, it's game over. <laughs> it's got to be. So it comes with Google Chrome. And we're going to just install something really quick. For the life of me, I can't get that bar to approve Google's thing. Oh, I've got it. Look, I've got <laughs> Right, so one thing I've tried doing is installing a custom launcher because this isn't that good. It's not that nice. And obviously, they've not put much effort into this at all. So if I click on the home button. And I'm going to try. I'm going to click Wolf Launcher. They're mixing up like, what's happening there? And I'm just going to see how this works so as you can see that does work it looks a bit cleaner if that's something that interests you it is an option but yeah i know you can install third party apps to it it does play back pretty well with youtube and 4k content and i've just flicked over and quickly looked at the price and the ram is ddr3 and it's saying it's nearly 70 pound i don't think it's worth it i think you're wasting your money think about it it didn't have a plug. That could have been my bad. The remote wasn't paired. It said hot pot instead of hot spot. <laughs> that one genuinely made me laugh. It said memory instead of memory. And it's more expensive than better devices. Right. So that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. You know that we do honest reviews. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da! And we're just going to do it. <laughs> right, so first of all, I want to thank Banggood for sending this product. I always struggle with that. Always. And a USB 2.0 slot. Oh, slot. Always get it wrong. Right, so I've just plugged it in, put some batteries in there. I do apologize for that. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> so if I go back home, we can have a look at. Oh, fuck off. If I take a quick look at the. I don't think it's worth it. I think you're wasting your money. Right, so that being said, I've just kicked my toe up. Ah, shit. That hurt.